Okay, let's get uh, into detailed analysis of the game that was played at the Concola Stadium that saw Nchanga Rangers uh, take on Zesco United, the log leaders, in a massive three-pointer. For Coach Sakala, it was uh, a case of wanting to get some points for the first time, uh, well, in many, many matches. They hadn't picked up a victory in over nine matches in Changa Rangers. But let's have a look at the two selections that were made by uh, Ivan Sakala and Zlako Krempotic. So both coaches went 4 4 2 for this one. But interesting for Zesco United, the central midfield configuration was such that jersey number 22. In orange, Mwapemuelo Atozizi actually played with Anthony Akumo in a bow-shaped 4-4-2. Now, the bow-shaped 4-4-2 now becomes an important tactic is because Zlako Krimpotic has, has tried variations of it, but now he's playing bow-shaped, and it now required uh, Mwapemuelo to actually stand square when Zesco United didn't have the ball, Vespa. Yeah, of course, if you... Uh, you look at the way uh, Zesco is playing today. Uh, Zite, I'm happy that it, it, we have gone back to uh, our 442 formation here in Zambia because we, of, of late, we've tried to, to change it to some other uh, systems we want to we wanted to bring in. But the 442, which I've seen the way uh, Zesco is doing it, they tried to to. Uh, Yes, to play it with uh, the, the players which they had, uh, it worked uh, for, uh, I think, for 10 minutes I, when I saw it. Uh, maybe because of the same system which the, the, the Nchanga Rangers also were using, uh, and the Nchanga looked much better than Zesco in that same system, uh, uh, though they failed to, to, to win the game. Uh, in future, maybe it's, it's going to work for, for, for Zesco and for Okay, but I'm, I'm sure many, many coaches, many teams have run away from traditional 4-4-2 for many reasons. Players like Mwape Muelo, okay, this guy has got silky skills. He's going to give you a lot going forward. So let us reduce the defensive liability that is placed on his shoulders and ask him to fly a little bit higher, Dennis. Well, I think uh, uh, I was watching uh, uh, Zesco yesterday. Mwape Muira gives you that uh, more dimension. You see, when he's playing wide, uh, when they have the ball, he will come inside. He is he's trying to create that, uh, uh, the, 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 um, what can I say? He, he, he creates the he brings ball when more attention to him yeah. than to the other players. Uh -huh. He comes in, attracts more defenders. Defenders. He's very intelligent, actually. Okay, clever player. So let's now discuss in Changa Rangers in attack. They were pitted as the home side, uh, well, playing next door, of course. But let's just have a look at Changa Rangers. In attack now, here it goes. Now, Nchanga Rangers are actually playing out with their 4 4 2. That therefore means that they are pushing Zesco United to either come after them or remain in their own half but at their own peril. But what was happening there is that if you analyze the Nchanga Rangers attack, that space between the lines in front of Adams, uh, Zikuri, and Imeji uh, Umeji Ikechuku. That space right there. Now, question is probably those two strikers, both playing square, flat lines, none of them was actually coming into that space between the lines, number one, to receive. Because and unlike the way we've seen Changa Rangers this season, in that situation, Zuma would actually float the ball into Adam Zikuri and Umeji. But that wasn't happening. They were actually playing through the lines, and the players were actually sticking. So it was 1v1, Adama versus Zikuri, Umeji versus Odiambo. And, and I'm just thinking that surely I heard Ivan Sakala making tactical shouts, come closer, let us make the attack a little bit quicker. But yes, that situation, 
who plays 10 when you've got two nines in that situation and they are applying themselves the way we are seeing them to be applying themselves? Of course, uh, uh, yes, Zite. Mm, when you are attacking, uh, like you have talked about the number nine coming too deep to correct the ball. Of course, you are playing with the number 10, whom you have to communicate with. If you are dropping to receive, you have to be talking the 12. But if you looked at, you watched the, 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 the way they were moving, the, their strikers. Midfielders, they were coming very okay from the defense in the midfield. They were very good in passing and they were not losing the ball. And if you saw the way they played even the first half, sometimes it will even pain you as a coach to say, uh, why have we even lost this game after we've started very well and there are chances of winning uh, 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 that game. For a number nine to drop deep into the, 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 uh, into the, the center uh, uh, circle there, you find that, yes, you can get the ball, but for you to have more power to reach at the goal and maybe shoot, you get the goal, you find that they get tired before even they, they reach the 18 yard. I think so unwillingness I think, to put in that shift, maybe. But I, I think uh, uh, what I can say about, uh, I, I saw the thing, uh, watch the way uh, for a tempo plays. He's a real number 10, a uh, second strike. He's always on the number six, you're holding midfield, but it wasn't happening for, uh, for Changa. Um, Changa Rangers, no. When they are playing uh, their, their captain, the short guy, Kasonde. Kasonde, yeah. When he's playing as a second strike, he does it very, very well. No, but I'm saying, you, you play 4-4-2, four, four, so he goes wide. So eventually, is that between Adams and um, Umeju Ikechuku, one of them has to come into that space between the lines and actually receive. Because the midfield is doing their part, they're bringing the ball. But if you are, what, man marking the defender as a striker, what happened? That's, that's what he was not happening on the Nchanga Rangers part. Okay, let's just have a look at part two of that attack. Is that it was nice progressive football through the lines, but let's just look at the part two about what finally happens when the attack is actually advanced. Okay, fine. So, uh, Chancer sees that support is not coming. What does he do? Tries to come in between the lines. And when he comes between the lines, he has a situation where Mwape Melo will actually charge into that area, and uh, Lazarus Kambola and Dev Daka would actually keep the wingers busy, closing the possible lines of pass, meaning right there, Nchanga Rangers had to lift the ball into Adam's Zikuri because that's where the space is being created. And Umeji there, the shade number 24 for Rangers, is busy with the Odiambo, and between the two, I think uh, Odiambo is a better man marker than Adama Benban, but yes. That is the stimuli, and that is not happening. One of the strikers has to sacrifice himself, come and play between the lines. He needs to come. He doesn't need to go as far up as the center circle coach, Vespa, Vespa but he just needs to come and receive the ball. Maybe in between Mape Muelwa and uh, Anthony Akumo there. The central midfield configuration for Zesco United. Yes, Zite, uh, if you look at uh, the way uh, Zesco United played uh, the 4-4-2, the, the way they, they, they are playing it, I think uh, they have uh, uh, good experienced players who can stand with uh, the, the same system. And I think if you've seen, they were not losing their position. Uh, whereby you could see uh, the Nchanga Rangers uh, uh, number nine, going back to receive the, the ball from nearby the center circle there uh, i think they they were not uh, uh, communicating with his number 10 and the, the the same number nine when they move out of there because you find that they get the ball from the wings and then uh, the old jambos will just be there and wait for them to come that's okay. why you've seen even uh, the way they were reaching at the goal their shots were not uh, uh, accurate okay now a little question, Dennis, is that you have a situation like that. The wingers are being man-marked. Uh, Kambole, Kambole has stuck with him. That means you need reinforcements from the back. Uh, Nakena was making uh, runs going forward for Nchanga Rangers. 
But that wasn't enough because what Nakena was doing was pretty much what Chansa was doing in the central areas and Kaonga where they just need to float the ball to the usual suspect who was finding himself a little bit free because the line where uh, Tozizi was operating from was leaving a bit of space. So, so what is going through the strikers' heads right now, okay? The white players have been marked. The central players are having leeway in central midfield, but it's not coming and we are standing square and we've been playing like this and this habit takes us into halftime. Surely, what do you want Ivan Sakala to say? I think uh, when, when you're having situations uh, like that, I'm sure you have to tell your players, just stand behind this one. Like the way Muirwa was going. So do, do, do they change the system? Invariably? They didn't, but they were supposed to change. Play for one for one or get in a number 10? Or... But again, when you bring in the captain to actually do that number 10 role, there's a little matter of dropping back. But they were exempt from this because of the way Zesco applied themselves in attack. Yeah, Sitting but very deep and trying to counter-attack. Yeah, they tried it. If you saw the way they came, I think they were disallowed the, uh, two, two, two goals, <laughs> which were disallowed. And I think if you, if you saw uh, their coach, he was like he's still thinking about the same goals which were disallowed. But we sometimes also, Zite, we should also talk about, the, I don't know, our referees. Because most of the games which have been played, I've talked up with my colleagues, the, 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 co the coaches, you, you talk to the head and the assistant coaches, who be complaining every time to say, ah, our referees are not doing as the, 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 the best. They're not we doing will. justice. I yes, think, yes. I think uh, 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 what coach is saying here, I think it's very, very important. I think... Uh, we should uh, uh, let's have maybe teams, you know what I'm saying, people to go and uh, see what uh, what the, the referees are. But there's a the match commission, uh, gentlemen. Okay, fine. Just I, one. Are you suggesting? Are you suggesting invariably that now it was not only tactics, but they also needed to play with the environment in which the game was played. They needed to worry about the man upholding the law and the whistle. Of course, yes. Of course, it's, it's, it's of course. Zite, Zite, you, you, we went to school together. Everything counts. Whatever is happening, if the, if the weather is bad, it will count. It will affect your performance. Okay, but I liked the faith that Ivan Sakala had on the day. Is that he stuck to his guns about his match approach and it worked uh, uh, according to plan. But it was a calamitous style, 12 minutes in, that while Zinchanga Rangers had dominated the whole half, the black spot came in the 12th minute when Jackson Mwanza actually scored for Zesco United. Let's just have a look at uh, how Zesco United scores, scored and begin to do an analysis. Now, look, 4-4-2 for Zesco United, uh, Jesse Jackson Were makes that run wide to the right, and Cletus Mulolani there is man marking. But what actually happens is Gift Piri decides to go and join that party right there. And what does JJ Were do there? Just back heels it to Dave Duck and he makes that run. The number nine makes that forward run into the 18. And whilst Zuma is actually trying to provide cover because his central defensive uh, partner is beaten there, he's trying to stop the cross from coming through. It, it left uh, Jackson Manza unmarked. And the distance for uh, Jimmy Nakena to actually make it to the 18 in time, on time, just wasn't there. It's 1v1. Penalty sports staff. Jackson Mwanza says, thank you very much. Strikes it. Beats the goalkeeper. one new to Zesco United. Perhaps the only thing they came to do in this game. Yeah, uh, Zite, uh, congratulations to Zesco. We even got uh, uh, that goal as early as it came. Because looking at the way Nchanga Rangers were playing, starting with the, the way they started, they were looking like uh, the, the team which is going to, to win the game. Uh, if you, you, you saw the way we talked about uh, the, their number nine, uh, Nchanga Rangers number nine and number ten, going backwards to, to, to get the ball from the center. If you saw the way Jackson did and Wele, Wele came from there, from, from, from you know, his position, dropped in the center circle side 
got the ball, and you saw the way they were they interchanged with uh, Jackson, who went straight and uh, scored that goal. Because of the same interchange, as long as you can communicate with your fellow uh, uh, playmate, it's easy for you even to get goal. But quiet as you are, then you move on. You just say, "No, it will come." <laughs> God, the yeah, time. it will come. <laughs> and, and and I'm just thinking, if 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 JJ Were and Jackson Manza were actually playing for Nchanga Rangers on the day, oh my word. I, I wonder what to, how many the goals would have had to count. You see, th th this is what I want to say. Uh, for me, it was just about the experience. Just Mo Jackson has been there for some time. Were as well. Same. But the uh, uh, Nchanga Rangers were playing for fun. Okay. Let's just have a look at the match statistics in this game. Nchanga Rangers versus Zesco United. It actually ended 1-0 in favor of Zesco United, but here goes nothing. Shots off target, 3 for Nchanga Rangers, 2 for Zesco United. Shots on target, 3 for uh, Rangers, 2 for Zesco United. The crosses, Zesco United managed to fashion 7 crosses compared to 10 for Rangers. Then offsides, gentlemen, just look at that line. 6 for Rangers compared to 1 for Zesco and the corner 7 1. <laughs> you don't know that will laugh or to cry. <laughs> Very interesting because I think uh, uh, your opponents are getting too many corners. No, just Please. hold on. If you are going to talk about corners, let's look at the corner placement for Nchanga Rangers. 7 1 they managed to actually get. So, corner placements. Let's just look at Nchanga Rangers. They got seven corners. Let's see how they utilize them. And you were saying. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, uh, uh, you, you get seven corners against one. Meaning you have to use them. Because it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very difficult for you to get. You, you get a corner, that's a set piece. Meaning, if if you get that one, you have to use it uh, uh, very well. Okay, seven one. Yeah, uh, I think for the Rangers to have uh, the seven uh, corners, it means they were looking for something, which uh, I think uh, failed uh, for their side to 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 get it. But uh, if a team can have uh, uh, the such corners, it means uh, their attack is, uh, was the. Uh, uh, and, and, and and the offside? The offside? 6-1. Okay, <laughs> yes. You talked about the referee earlier on. But yeah, six times you were caught on the wrong side of the law. What is that proverb in Bemba? It's a, <laughs> what I would have it's, a, <laughs> it's a pity this time uh, people sit, uh, sometimes would say, uh, why are you always in the offside uh, position? Uh, but uh, uh, some of these coaches who are late, we can't mention their names. Some were saying, the more you are in the offside position, <laughs> <laughs> let's just have a look at this United uh, in terms of their short structure in this game. Because uh, Zesco United in this game actually played, well, maybe they just came to score one goal. Maybe that goal where the jersey number 14 is Jackson Monza and JJ Were had an opportunity there and Mwapo Mwela had a crack at goal uh, just outside the D. Uh, that, does that look like Zesco United, our envoys in the Confederations Cup, who are going to play Super Sport United against quote unquote beleaguered in Changa Rangers? That's what they were able to do. I think for me, uh, <coughs> From the time that uh, uh, I've been watching Zesco and stuff, I think uh, they've changed too much. The attack is less. No, but for me, the, but it also comes back. Last year they were playing default formation four two three one, and people said no. George Blandamina is very defensive, but Zesco were controlling games. Zesco were winning games with a plum. Is that what you are seeing there? You see, he, 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 what what George used to do was uh, he had two defensive midfielders, but he had uh, uh, two wide players. 
Clayton Sandy, sometimes John, John and more people, more people, more lawyer, very clever players. And on top, he would have maybe Mbombo and Jesse. Jesse would come down to come and collect the ball with Jesse Mbombo. I uh, mean Jesse Muelo and Cletus. Cletus. Yeah. So they will make numerical advantage in the midfield. All right. Let's just look at the short structure for Nchanga Rangers. Yeah. Because <laughs> actually, when the team is at home, Nchanga Rangers probably demonstrated how well they did. Yeah. Look at that situation. They were firing. How they missed those. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that was the situation. Over and above. What are your reflections about this game? Are you confident yeah. going to think of taking on Zesco, uh, Super Sport United? And we are seeing the way Zesco is playing. I don't know whether the, it was one eye on Inkana on Wednesday or it was just business as usual. Is it? What's more true about that performance at the weekend. Uh, but they need to, to change, is it? Uh, if you look at uh, all the, the games they, they, they've been playing, uh, they need to, to work very hard. Because the teams in South Africa, if you look at their preparations and the hours compared, uh, South Africa, they are much better. So Zesco, for them to have a win in South Africa, they have to work very hard. Though you know, Zite, Zite, sometimes uh, these players you see, they, they sometimes change. Uh, they wait for a bigger game which they get a lot of money than maybe the <laughs> big player they get. <laughs> Could that be possible? W were the Zesco players preserving themselves? Because Dave Daka, Jackson Mwanza, Jesse Were, and all those guys can't possibly attack like that. Especially no. with Tozizi in there. They even attack much better when Kondwani is in there. I think uh, we just need to up our game. Up, up our games. games. Yeah. Okay. It's time for us to take five after the break. Zambia's premier analysis show continues.